Hello everyone, um, welcome to our channel and for this session, I will be teaching you how to graph rational functions. Okay, pero bago yan, kailangan nyo munang malaman yung iba't ibang importanteng informasyon na kailangan natin na may sa ating graph. Okay, so kailangan natin ng intercepts. Okay, um, ito yung mga points where a graph crosses the x and y axis. Okay. Kunyari, ito yung ating graph. Let's say, ganito. So, ito ay tinatawag na x-intercept. Ito naman, y-intercept. Okay? And then, kailangan ng zeros. Yung zeros, kaparehas lang yan ng x-intercept. Paras lang sila. Okay? And then, asymptotes. Okay, ano ba yung tinatawag na asymptotes? Okay, ito yung mga lines na ina-approach ng graph pero hindi nila natatamaan. Okay? For example, ganito. Bulin natin ng konti. Let's say, ito yung vertical asymptote mo. Kunyari, ito yung graph. Kahit anong gawin niyang paglapit, di niya matatamaan yan. Ganyan yung uh, main concept ng asymptote. Line siya na ina-approach ng graph, pero di niya kayang tamaan. Okay? Same, same thing with horizontal asymptote. Okay? So dito, sabi dito, para makuha yung vertical asymptote, kailangan nating i-equate yung denominator ng rational function to zero. So, later on, I will be discussing to you how to do that one. And also with the horizontal asymptote. Okay? So, mamaya i-discuss ko rin to as we go to our first example. Alright? So, let's just try to remove this further uh, real quick. Para malinis. Ayaw ko na madumi. Okay? Right? So, first example is, kunyari... Anong number gusto nyo? Let's say f of x equals 3x okay, plus 6 all over 2x minus 4. Limbawa lang. Okay, gawa muna tayo ng Cartesian play natin. Sketch tayo ng konti. Okay yung ating x and y axis. Okay. Siyempre, zero ang origin. So, unang-una natin kukunin ay yung ating vertical asymptote. Okay. Vertical asymptote. Let's just say VA. Kanina, sabi dito, para makuha mo yung vertical asymptote, kailangan kunin mo yung denominator daw and then equate mo sa zero. Okay, gawin natin yan. Our denominator is 2x minus 4. Diba? So, 2x minus 4. And then, we equate that to 0. And then, we solve for x. Ganun lang kasimple. So, 2x equals 4. So, therefore, x is equal to 2. Ibig sabihin, ito yung number na magdi-discontinue sa ating graph. Kung baga, may break. Okay? Dito sila hindi magpapatuloy sa number na to, sa x equals 2. Okay? Kunyari, hindi to siya. Okay. okay. Kunyari, 2 yan. That's x equals 2. I-label natin para kitang kita. And then, pangalawa, we will get the horizontal asymptote. Paano ba kunin yung horizontal asymptote? Ganito, uh, ganito lang yan. Uh, titingin tayo sa degrees ng numerator at saka denominator. Ano ang degree sa numerator? Pag sinabing degree, ito yung pinakamataas na exponent. Okay? So it's 1. Okay? It's 1. May 1 dyan. E sa baba, ano yung degree dun? Ano yung pinakamataas na exponent? 1 din. Anong sinasabi kapag ka mayroon silang parehas na 
na degree, na exponent. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ito yun sa number 3 condition natin, if the degree of the numerator is equal to that of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. Okay. Paano yun? So, y equals ang leading coefficient sa taas ay 3. Okay. So, kunin natin yung 3. Over the leading coefficient of our denominator. 2. 3 halves. Or, uh, that's 1.5, right? So, nandito siya sa, sa taas ng 0. I-sketch lang naman to. So, don't you worry about the distance first. Ang importante, tama yung graph natin. Okay, so this is y equals 3 halves. Okay, ibig sabihin, yung domain natin, lahat ng real numbers maliban sa x equals 2. Kasi nga, dyan yung ating discontinuity mamaya na sa graph. So, pag nahar na natin yung um, dalawang asymptotes natin, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon tayo ng apat na regions. Okay? Kasi yung graph pwedeng nasa loob ng region na to. Dyan. Or pwede namang nandito yung graph. Or pwede namang nandito yung graph. O pwede nandito yung graph. Okay? So... Later on, we will test some points. So now, we will be finding first the x-intercept or yung zero na tinatawag. Let's use a different color. Okay. X-intercept muna or yung tinatawag na zero. Kaya tinatawag na zero kasi kailangan maging zero ang y or yung f of x. Pero may technique dito eh. Para makuha mo yung x-intercept or yung 0, kunin lang natin yung ating numerator, 3x plus 6, and equate natin siya sa 0. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple. You get the taas o yung numerator natin, and then we equate that to 0 to get the x-intercept or yung 0 natin. Okay? So, 3x is equal to negative 6. Tama. So, we divide it by 3. So, x is equal to negative 2. Bagit yung taas lang. Kasi, pag naging 0 yung taas, yung new, eh, dito na lang. Kasi, pag naging 0 ito, kahit anong number pa yung nasa baba niya, let's say 5 or 4 or 3 or 2 or 1, is still the answer is equal to? zero. Yun yun. So, ibig sabihin, para hindi tayo uh, maghabol sa oras pag kayo nag -e exam okay, you just need to get the numerator and equate that to zero para makuha mo yung x-intercept or yung zero na, na tinatawag. Okay. Ulit natin yan. Okay. So, let's say the point is somewhere here. Siyempre, zero yan. So, nandito yan negative 2 ito. Okay? So, kailangan din natin ng y-intercept kasi ito yung mga critical na kailangan natin makuha eh. Diba? Ito yung kabalik tara naman ng x-intercept. Pag gusto mong kunin yung y-intercept, gawin mo namang 0 yung x. Okay? So, gamit yung ating original na function, f of x equals 3x plus 6 over 2x minus 4. What is f of 0? Okay? So, kailangan maging 0 yung x natin. So, 0 plus 6 all over 2 times 0 minus 4. And that's equal to 6 over negative 4 or negative 3 halves. Okay? Or negative 1.5. So, it's somewhere here. Okay? That is negative 3 halves. Okay. So, since yung dalawang points ay nasa loob ng region na to, nakuha nyo ba? Yung graph nyan ay nasa loob lang din yan. Okay? 
So, yung graph niya ay magiging parang ganito. Kailangan ma-approach niya yung asymptote na horizontal asymptote. Okay. Medyo mahirap pag graph ha. Tsaka kailangan ma-approach niya yung ating, yung ating vertical asymptote. Ma-approach niya yan. But they will never intersect. Okay. O, isang part lang yan ng graph. O ngayon, may isa pang part ng graph. Hindi natin alam kung nandito yung graph or nandito. Okay? So, kailangan magtetest tayo ng isang, kahit, kahit isang point lang, para lang malaman kung nasaan yung point, kung sa taas ba o sa baba. Okay? Let's say, kung ito ay 2, let's say 3. Pwede namang 3, diba? So, at x equals 3, ano kaya yung ating y? So, using the function, so, y equals 3 times 3 plus 6 over, all over 2 times 3 minus 4. Ano yung sagot dito? So, 9, ito 9, 9 plus 6, tama, divided by um, 6 minus 4. So, magiging 3 over I know, mali ako. 9 plus 6 is 15. But, but nasabi ko 3. Sorry, doon na. Impromptu ito. 15 divided by 2. Or 7.5. Ibig sabihin, approximately nandito siya. Kasi 7.5 di ba? So, since yung isang point ay nasa region na to, ibig sabihin yung graph nandyan din. Okay, ganun lang kasimple. Test lang tayo ng point. So, ibig sabihin, yung graph niya ay parang ganito. Kailangan ma-approach na to, yung dalawang asymptotes natin. Ayan. Kung gusto nyo naman ng mas, ma, mas accurate na graph, you can test many points as you want. Let's say, 4 at 5, whatever. Okay? So, that's now our graph. Okay? Okay, next. Paano naman kapag uh, medyo komplikadong graph? Let's say, um, para, sa, para sa exam nyo, o kung meron man kayong gagawin, medyo bihasa na kayo sa pag-graph ng rational functions, kahit mahirap, di ba? So, let's say x squared plus 5x minus 6 all over, let's say, x squared minus 9. Okay? So, unang kukun natin dito ay yung ating mga asymptotes. Okay? Okay, mga asymptotes natin. Hindi, wait lang. Lalakihan ko yung graph kasi mukhang mahirap to. Mukhang madaming ano madaming kukuning intervals. So, let's just make it a little bit bigger. Diba? Sana, na, sana kayo natututo dito ha? Okay. So, zero ito. So, una, kukunin natin yung x, yung, I mean, vertical asymptote. Okay. What's our vertical asymptote? Again, what's the process? Kukunin yung denominator at equate to zero. Denominator is x squared minus 9 and equate that to zero. Okay? So, what we can do is we can add 9 or, yeah, add 9. Para maging x squared equals 9. Tama? And then, since quadratic function yan, pwede natin gamit, uh, gamitan ng, square, ng, ng extracting the square root method. Ibig sabihin, ganito siya. And then, plus minus dito. Okay? So, ang square root ng 9 ay positive and negative 3. So, ibig sabihin, Nandito yung ating dalawang vertical asymptote. Sa positive 3, 
positive 3. Okay. Label natin siya. X equals 3. Tsaka sa negative 3. Okay. Okay. X equals negative 3. Now, what's our horizontal asymptote? Okay. Anong degree sa taas? 2. Ang degree naman sa baba ay 2. O, parehas lang, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, our horizontal asymptote will be equals, ano ba ang leading coefficient ng taas? 1. Sa baba, 1 din. Parehas sila. Or, 1 over 1 equals 1. Ibig sabihin, nandito yung ating horizontal asymptote. Okay. Alright, so magkakaroon tayo dito ng ilang bahagi ng graph. Okay? So, pero bago natin yun, yun, um, talakayin, let's first get the x and y intercepts. Okay? We first get the x intercept. Siyempre, gawing zero ang numerator. You get the numerator x squared plus 5x minus 6 and equate that to 0. Okay, here, hanap kayo ng paraan kung paano makuha yung x values. Okay? Dahil ano naman siya ay quadratic naman siya, quadratic equation na siya, we can now use the factoring technique. Okay? So, ano yung mga factors ng negative 6 na kapag ka pinag-add mo, ang sagot ay 5. Yung gitna, positive 5. Sagot ay um, 6 tsaka negative 1. Kasi 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Tapos pagka pinag-plus mo yan, ang sagot ay 5. Yung gitna. ba So, ang factors niyan ay x plus 6 tsaka x minus 1. Ganun lang. And then, we, we get the x-intercepts na x plus 6 equals 0, separate the two factors, and then x minus 1 equals 0. So, x equals negative 6, tsaka x equals positive 1. So, nasan ba yung 1? Something red. Let's say ito yung 1 natin. Okay? That's 1. And then, at negative 6. So, let's say nandito yung negative 6 natin. Okay? Alright. So, since yung isang point ay nasa loob ng region na to, okay, ibig sabihin, andyan, andyan yung graph niyan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ganito lang siya. Wait, wait. Ganyan siya. Pwede mo namang, pwede ka namang mag, uh, mag-test ng mga points to. Let's say, for example, at negative 4, at negative 5, para, para, lang mas, uh, para lang mas accurate yung graph ninyo. Pero yan yung main concept dyan. And then, um, since may isang point dito, at 1, and we don't know where if the graph would would look like this okay we don't know, we don't know yet so let's try to to test some points let's say dito yung malapit sa vertical asymptote kasi nandito siya ano number nandito let's say at negative 2 so at negative 2 what do you think is the answer um so x squared so, negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2 minus 6 all over negative 2 squared minus 9. Okay? So, para masabilis, then I 4, 4 plus 
Okay, 4 minus 10 minus 6. Tama. And then 4 minus 9 equals um, negative, negative 12 over negative 5 or 12 over 5. So it's somewhere here. Tama. Alright. Ibig sabihin, oh, we, we, we forgot to find, to find D. So, yung isang point nandito na, okay? Don't, don't you worry. So, we forgot to find the y-intercept. Okay, so let's just do that real quick. Okay. To find the y-intercept, alam natin na kailangan maging 0 ang x. Diba? So, magiging um, y equals 0 squared plus 5 times 0 minus 6 all over 0 squared minus 9. So, kung 0 yan, 0 to, 0 din yan. May iwan ay negative 6 over negative 9. Tama? So, y-intercept will be negative, uh, positive 6 over 9, or simply, what is that? 2 over 2 third. So, it's somewhere here. Okay? So, kanina, nasabi ko na hindi pwedeng matouch ang asymptote, right? Pero sa ganitong pagkakataon, pwedeng matouch ang horizontal, pero hindi ang vertical asymptote. Ibig sabihin, ang graph niya ay parang ganito. Since yung isang point, andito na siya, kailangan mag-continue lang siya. Ganyan yan. And then, ganito. Okay? Pwede naman kayo mag-test ng maraming points. Kunyari, let's say at negative 1, i-ensure nyo na, na andito talaga yung points. Right? Or dito to naman sa kabila dito, let's say nandito ay sa positive 2. Talaga bang ang point ay nandito? You can still test some points if you want. Okay? And then, may isa pang interval. Let's say here at positive 4. Okay? So, kapag positive 4, ano kaya ang sagot natin dyan? Um, somewhere. So, y equals kapag 4. So, 4 squared plus 5 times 4 minus 6 divided by 4 squared minus 9 so, magiging 16, 20 minus 6. Okay, magiging 30 over ito ay 7. Okay, so 30 over 7. So, at x equals uh, 4, ang y mo ay 30.7. Or, syempre, mas, ma mas mataas yan sa ano, sa 1. So, it's somewhere here sa nandito. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, since andyan yung ating sang point, ang graph niya ay nandito lang din. Okay? Alright. So, at 4, that is 4, 30, over 7. You can label the points if you want. So, that's how we're going to graph... Um, rational functions. Okay? Bye. Thank you.